Today I'm looking at Piano by Jean Echinos. This book was published by the New Press, this translation from the French. Initially, this book was published in 2003 by L'Edition de Minuet. That's a publishing house in France that I greatly admire. They have published folks like Beckett and Claude Simon, um, Rob Grier, Robert Pinget, Marguerite Duras, Natalie Seurat, a lot of the um, French nouveau romanists from the early to mid 20th century. And I always thought French literature, literature was just well, well beyond where world literature is at, so I was interested in reading somebody more contemporary. And I had read uh, I'm Gone uh, before by this writer. Unfortunately, I don't remember anything about it. Uh, this book concerns a concert pianist who is a kind of a celebrity in Paris as his life as he's going around giving concerts and sort of the anxiety he feels as a performer. Uh, he suffers from stage fright and uh, how he deals with it is basically um, he's kind of an alcoholic. Uh, but it's, you know, he's surrounded with other characters like his manager and his assistant and there's some women in this book, like he lives with his sister. Uh, essentially, it's it's the first part of it is kind of like a description of his life. Although we're told very early on that this character, whose name is Max, will suffer a pretty violent death. So it's not really a spoiler to to kind of give that away. Um, the book is told in a very simple style. I I guess call it a kind of a very accessible mainstream style. It's almost like reading a movie novelization. There's really no work that the reader has to do to consume this story, which is surprising to me because of the kind of prose that L'Edition de Minuet had published in the past. I'm very surprised that uh, they would print this sort of easy-to-read, accessible writing. It's almost bad writing to me, or at least lazy. I mean, the use of so many adverbs and cliches and, you know, received language, the emotionally manipulative um, words, or, you know, with regards to dialogue. And, um, but at the same time, I guess, you know, if an author employs this style, then he has other things that are more important to him, perhaps plot or the idea uh, behind the story, um, or some part of me thinks maybe it's related to the translation itself. It's hard to tell. I get this. I kind of have this question when I read a writer like Haruki Murakami, for instance, who also writes in a very, very simple way, almost adolescent. But you know, you're re really reading him more for the uh, for the storyline. This book takes a big turn you know, when that death does occur of the main character. And unfortunately, I don't feel much investment in the character or any of these characters, really, when that that change happens. After his death, he enters a sort of strange purgatorial landscape. Uh, and there's a lot about this book that actually reminds me of the work of Murakami. It's sort of this improv improvisational feel to it where you really don't know where the author is going and you get a sense that he doesn't know either he's just kind of making it up as he goes along on the other hand there's just some quick turns of events that happen to propel the story forward that makes it feel kind of contrived kind of uh, artificial and again because the characters are kind of cartoonish it it sort of doesn't feel earned uh, to me but... he you know meets up with uh, Peggy Lee and Dean Martin uh, kind of reminds me of Kafka on the Shore where there's other recognizable characters show up like Johnny Walker and Colonel Sanders. Um, and then later on in this book, the character is, a decision is made upon his fate and he is uh, subject to go, go back to his life in Paris, which then represents a sort of hell to him as he undergoes facial uh, surgery, reconstructive surgery, to where he's not recognizable by anyone that he 
that he knows and and has to kind of take a a different job uh, and no longer be in that level of privilege but sort of start as as a working class so ultimately I found this book to be very slight very minor I'm not sure that I would go and read any more of this fellow's work uh, it just does not hold a candle to the kind of work that the French publishing house had put out in the past um, again I'm just very surprised that uh, that it has French lit has come down to this type of writing um, but yeah I'm, I'm gonna go back and go back to reading some Austrian writers there's there's one named Gert Jonke I'm not sure if that's pronounced correctly but uh, I think that the book that's coming in is uh, also related to a piano player and that one might be interesting because the author himself had once been a musician so I think that might kind of inform his uh, his creative process so I'll do a review on that book after I after I read it but this is piano by John Eschenos